What's going on everybody, Mr. AGZ here bringing you another PAX East battle, this time with special guest, Drakeson. What's going on, man? Hi, what's up everybody? <laughs> now, you are known as Sierra here in this battle. Now, you are up against Hazmat, also known as the leader, Delectable Dan, the Iron Chef. Now, his strategy is, it says food fight, trainer's Pokemon is those that can help me in the kitchen, and his message was, your taste buds are about to be amazing. And if you beat him, you get that delicacy badge, man. Uh, why don't you tell us the team that you're bringing in? Well, I I just tend to like to slap together six Pokemon that I, I think will be good against uh, in a battle. And here I just went for a bit of type variety and start off with some interesting ones. Uh, in addition to some very common faces like uh, Rotom Wash uh, and Terrakion. Uh, yeah, go ahead, go over all six of them. Let us know what you do. Uh, I, I have a Braviary, I have a Rotom Wash, I have a Beedrill, uh, I have a Terrakian, I have a Chinchino, and I have a Ferro. There you go. Now, Hazmat here, Delectable Dan, has himself a Swallow, Vanillax, he's got Licky Licky, Snorlax, he's got the darn Slurpuff, and that Heat Rotom, man. So, immediately looking at his team, what are you thinking? Um... Well, I'm, I'm thinking there's uh, a few normal types on his team, um, but there's also uh, a nice type, so he has a noticeable fighting one. Okay. Uh, he does have that covered with a fairy and poison type, but uh, it, it could be a real, uh, it could be a downfall. Alright, there you have it guys from Drakeson. Let's go ahead and head into this battle. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. All right. Hazmat is issuing a challenge. And you're going to send out Excalibur first. And he's going to send out Shake and Bake. All right. What are you thinking right now? Well, he has a type advantage. So I, normally I would switch out, but I was expecting to be faster than Wow. Apparently he was also smart. So that, that didn't help me out. So he's making a switch out to Squalla, and you're going to U-turn out. So since he made that switch first, you at least get the switch initiative, if you will. You get to decide what you want to come in. But that Rocky Helmet does suck. Yeah. Okay, so. All right. So who do you send out? I send out my Ferrothorn, um, hoping to maybe get uh, some... Contact. Okay. Because that's what Ferrothorn's infamous for. Gets on uh, side damage, I see there. Now you're going to switch back out now that he's shown he Rotom. Yeah. You're going to determine your own Rotom. Ooh, and nice avoid there. Okay. So he's withdrawing Heat Rotom, and you're gonna, he's going to send out Gordon the Licky Licky. What do you think about Licky Licky? Well, I, I, I'm wondering. If, uh, I, I don't know why he's saying Gordon. I mean, I don't think I'm thinking Gordon Freeman grilled him. I'm like, wait, that's George Foreman. And, uh, yeah, uh, anyway, looking at the I don't think I've ever really seen one person use it, and I know it's been pretty cool. He can come. Now, I know usually Licky Licky is known for exploding. See, you brought out Terrakion, most likely to go ahead and get that damage on, but also to probably get the Justified ability. And, and lo and behold, he used Knockoff, which got rid of my choice ban, but I got a, I got, I still got the attack boost from Justified, so I got a very scary Terrakion right now. You do right now. Terrakion could be in a position to sweep. Now, he is going to withdraw Gordon, who I think might be named after Gordon Ramsay. And send out Feed Me the Swallow. Very interesting choice because an earthquake from you would absolutely decimate this guy. It was. And now that you're not choice banded. <laughs> Alright, well you just lost your defense stuff and you're going to take damage. But now you've got the earthquake off. That's going to hit Swallow and take out Swallow. So Swallow goes down and out. Feed Me. Let's pull Dan in trouble right now. Because it's been a very... Very back and forth battle so far. Lots of switches. Now here comes Slurpuff Cupcakes. What are you thinking immediately? Uh, Iron Head. 
Iron Head. Oh, look, there he is. Iron Head is fixed. And there it is. The Iron Head does happen. Cupcakes is out of here. And a la mode comes in. The Vanilla X, who is not going to stand a chance here against the Terrakion. A close combat is going to absolutely annihilate his face. And you're faster. Terrakion is a fast Pokemon with a gross amount of attack. And <laughs> just a lot of attack there. So down he goes. And now he's going to go ahead and send out Shake and Bake. What are you thinking about Shake and Bake now? Uh, well, this one actually really exists. It has a scarf, as I've learned. Mm -hmm. Wow, he got a lot of damage on this Volt Switch off, nearly taking you out. And well, just... it, I, had, I had a lot of special defense props. Mm -hmm. But, I'm... I mean, my Seracian uh, isn't in this much longer, but he certainly got, uh... Dan yeah. So here we go. Down goes the Licky Licky. And Chicken Bake's gonna come out. Chicken Bake's gonna come in. It's gonna take some more chip damage. Now, if he is Scarfed, that leaves him with only one move. And he is gonna go ahead and run the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is gonna be enough to take out the Trachyon. However, you've got more pokes behind you. Here comes Itamin here. <laughs> Your Rotom Wash, he's going to go for a Thunderbolt, and that's going to do a nice hefty chunk. You're going for the Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump's going to hit, and it should take out the Shaken Bake, and it does. The Shaken Bake goes down and out, and now this has become a one-sided match. Number one, Patron comes in, the Snorlax. What do you think when you see Snorlax? Uh, well, I know it's bulky, and I know it can hit hard. Um, I also... Whenever I see a, a scroll act, I think of very sickening, but he's a thinner, family size, main course. There you go. I you're you're going to go ahead and make the Volt Switch here. Volt Switch is going to head back out, and I'm betting you probably go into your Ferrothorn here, I would imagine. Well, correct. Here comes Ferrothorn, because if you're expecting a Body Slam, you don't mind him hitting you, because he's going to take himself out. Unless it's a rest Snorlax, but at, from this point with his health, he'll probably take himself out or come pretty close. Yeah. Here comes Ferrothorn's a... not something you want to body slam. Oh, nope. That's a lot of spice to jump onto. And here comes his last body slam, last ditch effort. And down he's going to go to his own attack. The Iron Barb and the Rocky Helmet damage. And with that, the meal has been made and it is called Humble Pie. You go. Delectable Dan, the Iron Chef, goes down to Draxon, the Challenger. Draxon, not bad, I'm going to get that right. Goes down to the Challenger. Challenger gets his first GM win. So, a lot more to come, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video with Draxon, make sure you guys hit that like button, share it, and until next time, catch them all. See you guys later. Goodbye.